Hey, what's up guys? Another video. Of course it's a video. No need to say that. That's completely redundant. I'm wasting your time. You have very precious time and I'm wasting it. For that I apologize. So, anyway, um, what I'm doing here is I'm basically fine-tuning a knife's action. Just like on a gun, you may have a trigger job, right? What is the purpose of a trigger job? Well, it's to basically smooth out all the inner workings, all the parts. They all work in unison, and there's hooks and crannies and springs and all that kind of junk. And um, they work. They're functional, metal on metal parts. But if you go in there and you fine tune and you smooth out all those parts, they work just a little bit better. They work smoother. They are still the same functional parts, only better. So that's what we're doing here is we're taking a knife, which is okay, and we're making it better. Now you can do this with any folding knife that you can take apart. Um, I was inspired to do this because I just did one of these things on my girlfriend's knife. Christina came over and she was showing me her new, her brand new 707 sequel, Benchmade, which is a fantastic knife. And uh, she was playing with mine and I was showing her, you know, the access lock on this one, how it's nice and smooth, because hers is brand new. This one happened to be broken in. I use this thing a lot. Um, and she's like, mine doesn't drop like that. And I'm like, well, I can make it drop like that if you want. And so I did, but I didn't film it. <laughs> so uh, I'm doing this again to film it. Now this knife, as you can see, is beautiful. You know, freely falls on a very light angle like this. It is uh, very smooth. So this is just completely broken in, but you can do this little technique with any folding knife. Like I said, you could take apart. It's very straightforward. All we're really doing is we're taking it apart. We're lightly polishing. Um, the metal on metal contact around our pivot and then re-oiling, okay? Uh, you can smooth out a knife simply by cleaning it. If you take your knife apart and thoroughly clean it, it'll be a little bit smoother than it is right now, which is probably dirty, full of pocket lint and dust and grime. Um, sometimes knives brand new from the factory, they will have a little bit of uh, metal flake and filings and metal dust, stuff like that. Um, sometimes the factory lube is not quite as good. It could be a little more viscous or, or thick and it will collect dust easier and you can get your pivot gunked up and what will happen is your knife won't you know be as smooth so this one it although it's it's completely functional there's nothing wrong with this knife at all i just want this to open like um it's riding on glass and right now it's not um this is a, a brand new shrade which i'm uh, in the middle of testing if you get a little wrist action it pops out nice but i want to be as smooth as this other one same knife just different version you can see the checkering on the handle here uh, these things are beastly. Let's get that again. There we go. So this one out of the box. These are both out of the box, brand new. I haven't tested these yet. Um, this one's much smoother. Much, much smoother. So um, what I want to do is I want to mimic the action on this with this one. And by doing this, it'll probably make it even better than the other one. But I will be testing these and eventually reviewing these. This thing is friggin' heavy as crap. <laughs> this thing probably weighs as much as my gun. Um, but solid, solid lockup on this. I mean, bank bolt lockup and super thick, super heavy duty. If you guys like your overbuilt knives, this one right here. And of course, it's a little brother, brother from another mother with that different design on there. These things are extremely affordable, very affordable. So I think this will be a great option for a lot of people, but I'm not fully um, going to stick behind that until I test it. Just initial impressions. So this is a knife I'm using today as an example just because I want this one to be a little bit smoother than it is. Even though it's pretty smooth, I want it to be even better. I don't want to use a whole lot of wrist to be able to flick that out. So things you're going to need for this. You're going to need some kind of lubricant. Um, Miltec One works great. Um, my favorite, all-time favorite, which I use for every knife that I have, Tough Glide. Tough Glide with the little needle applicator, it's just beautiful. It works good. I've been using this stuff too, which someone sent me. This is the Epic Oil. Same deal, same bottle, so I use it. Um, I don't find a huge difference between this and the Tough Glide. They're both pretty similar. Um, besides your preferred lubricant, you want something to clean out all the crap. I just have a, a toothbrush, that, a cheapo toothbrush I use to scrub stuff, and uh, just a microcloth fiber towel to just kind of clean everything off. Um, besides that, of course, you're going to need your appropriate tools. In this case, they take, this one takes two different size Torx, uh, head, or Torx bits for those screws. Uh, to disassemble your knife, and then something to polish the, the parts, if you choose to do this. Polishing the, uh, the parts will smooth out the action. It's highly, highly recommended. This happens to be one of the tapes from my uh, Edge Pro Apex. This is a thousand grit tape. Um, you can go to Walmart, pretty much any store, any hardware store or auto parts store, like AutoZone or similar, 
um, and get some auto uh, wet sanding paper. Get a thousand grit, it's not that expensive, and it works beautifully for this, uh, you know, what we're trying to accomplish here, okay? So, first things first, let's take the, let's move this stuff out of the way. By the way, as an off offshoot note, since I'm doing a cleaning or a uh, modification type video, I'm gonna be reviewing this stuff very, very soon. Um, this is not for lubrication, necessarily. This is for protecting and cleaning your knives, and I cannot find something that's better. This has been a project that's been in the works for a long time by someone who happens to you know, watch my videos, but he started up this company, he had this his own formula for a knife protectant, and I've seen the progression. I started off with a sample bottle he sent me. It was pink, it was just some random liquid to clean knives. I'm like, okay, I'll try it, whatever. And it was awesome. And since then, he's progressed. I'm gonna do a video of this in the future. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's really, really good. So I'll do a separate video on cleaning, but I just wanted to mention that in this video since it's somewhat related, knife maintenance. Um, and I happen to have it out here too because I'm gonna be cleaning some other knives in a minute. So just wanted to show that to you. So, um, first we're gonna take our knife apart. Let's hold me together. There we go. Okay. Backspacer. Our handle, our blade, frame lock side. Man, what a hunk of steel. This is a beefy knife. All right, so here's what we wanna do. First, we're gonna take our washers. There should be two. Yes, there is. Take our washers out, put those aside. All right, first thing we're doing is cleaning. We be cleaning, yo. All right, so the scrub. The inside, your pivots, on both sides. Getting all the old oil off, and dirt and grime. Also both sides of your blade, around our pivot hole. Whoop, there we go. Had a washer stuck in my hand. Can't be having that. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, like what's that? A little detent. That's for our frame lock. Okay, so scrubs, we're gonna wipe this down with our cloth. Okay, get nice and clean, all sides. And then we're going to basically just polish the inside of our pivot area for our knife. We do that with our tape here. First, let's do this one. Very straightforward, just smoothing it out, polishing it up. Now this is very fine paper. You could start off with like, let's say uh, a 600 or an 800 grit and then move to something finer. I don't recommend doing that, honestly. Just start with something fine because if you take off too much or if you rough it up, rough it up too much, you could change the tolerances here. We do not want to be removing a lot of metal. All we're doing is smoothing out what's there. So you see with a thousand grit paper, I mean, we're already close to what we need to do. No time at all. So don't be impatient with something like this. It only takes a minute. Okay. Getting this nice and smooth. You guys can see the difference. Well, it's hard to see with the lighting here, but in person, I can definitely see the difference. It's nice and polished. See the mirror? Mayor image. Okay. So that side's just fine. Ooh, that's baby butt smooth. Not that I've ever touched a baby's butt. I don't think I've literally ever touched a baby's butt before. Never had to change a diaper. Well, I don't know, maybe. I can't remember. All right. Let's see here, yeah, same deal on this side. No real technique, circles, back and forth, whatever. Flip over, get a fresh spot. That's nice. Right there. Nice and smooth. You guys, I mean, with the reflection of the light, it's hard for you to see, but I can tell you, I can feel the difference. Now, same deal on either side of our pivot area. This is really easy to do, and I'm telling you, it makes the world of a difference. Okay, this will not affect the lockup on your knife. Okay. It will only make it smoother and better. You will be a happier knife owner. Be very careful, obviously, you might want to just 
Just use extreme caution. I you don't necessarily have to tape your blade to do this, but just don't cut yourself. Don't be foolish. This is nothing new. People know about this little trick. It's just I'm doing my version in this video. In case you didn't. It's not a secret. A lot of people do this kind of stuff already and have done this for years. But if you didn't know about it, now you do. So that is basically it. Okay. Let's lube her up. Open it halfway. One drop on either side. One drop. One drop. Wipe off the excess. Open up all the way. One drop. One drop. Close it. And one drop. One drop. There's all the oil we need. Make sure it's nice and dry. We're going to open and close it a few times. Hot damn, that's good. You can tell the difference already. Blade down. Uh, when you re-oil things, it will be uh, obviously oily. Badooch. That's uh, pretty obvious. As the oil leaks out, you can uh, certainly keep wiping it off. Man, what a difference. All right. So, wipe that handle off. Now I've gotten all crudded up. This is a beautiful thing. Nice and smooth. Just like its brother, in fact. Hmm. Feels even a little bit better. Oh yeah. Better than factory. This one's very nice out of the box, just happens to be really nice for being, you know, the price that it is. But you will find out on a different video. But this one, after our little pivot job, or action job, I don't know what I'm gonna call this, but our little, you know, polish work is smooth as butter. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's try with the thumb studs. Whoop, hello. I like it. This thing is a beast. My hand hurts just from holding it. What a difference. See, more oil coming out a little bit. Just keep wiping that down. Not gonna hurt nothing. All right. There we have it. This thing is beastly now. Nice and smooth. Cheap knife. Or cheaper knife rather and we have the action of a much more expensive knife much higher quality knife so it's really that easy take it apart clean it wipe it down polish inside where all the metal is touching the inside of your one scale the inside of your other scale and of course on both sides of the um the blade so basically we have a sandwich okay here's our handles polish that polish that and polish both sides that are going to be touching that and that Pretty easy, remember, right? That, 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 and touching that. So, how can you forget that? So, there we go. So, very nice action now on both these. Now, ugh, fail. <laughs> Complete fail. There we go. I love it. Oh, what a difference. Now, this was the edited version. I'll show a separate video <laughs> with me putting the knife back together. That'll all be fun. Um... So if you're interested in watching all that kind of crap, I'll post that as a separate video. But what a difference. I'm telling you guys, whether you have a cheaper knife or you got an expensive knife, you do this to your knife, it will make the world of a difference and you'll be a much happier knife user. Much, much happier. So please do try this on your own and be safe. Don't cut yourself while you're disassembling and assembling your knife and playing with it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Take care.